Hey everyone, so in honor of Skincare Saturday, I have a really cool product to review for you guys. So I recently was at Ulta Beauty and I went and I did a whole mask haul. And one of the products that I picked up, because I got some different masks from different companies like Tony Molly and the one company that I reviewed that had the silver mask, um, I found this really cool company called Uzu Bear. It almost sounds like ozone, but Uzu Bear, look at how cool these designs are. This one almost looks like a little bit of an eye slash galaxy, and this one is a beautiful midnight sky, which I love the design of the moon because I love uh, moons and the stars and the whole um, astrology thing. So I was really drawn to the design and how cool this looks, and it has this really cool ampule. If you guys can see that, it has like this gelatinous material in there, like almost like an ampule. And I actually originally, because it is all in Korean, this is made in Korea, it's a um, Asian product, very similar to the other uh, masks that are there. Um, I thought, oh my gosh, I have to learn how to read Korean, but I totally forgot there's instructions right here. So I don't know which one to use. I think I'm going to use the, you know what, because I'm looking for something that's a little bit more astringent. I'm going to try the pore clearing mask because it has this really cool look to it and it says that it will clean your pores out. It's um, suitable for all skin types and it's dermatologist tested and it tells you how to use this. Um, they both have different directions. This one has a sheet that's stuck on there and this one has it right here. So you have to fold the lines one and two up here to match um, and you squeeze in the key active ingredient in the ampule toward the direction of the arrow. Step two is press the concentrated ampule with the thumb in the direction of the arrow to burst and mix active ingredients into the mask pouch. Before opening the pouch, make sure the ampule has been thoroughly mixed and evenly saturated. Lightly massage the pouch. Step four, remove the film and apply mask to face. Leave on 10 to 20 minutes and then remove the mask. Gently massage the face until the remaining ampule is completely absorbed. So I'm going to leave this on for the full 20 minutes and this is so cool because I have never had a face mask where the ampule is right here and you have to burst it in there. Now, ampules usually contain a serum of some sort that when it's mixed with here, it reacts and it becomes active, and then you have a certain amount of time to use it. This was a more expensive mask, so if you are shopping on a budget, it may not be ideal, but you are getting a quality product because of the price. And um, how cool is this? I feel like a scientist when you're mixing this. So if you guys can see this, this stuff has like liquid in here. You've got to fold the line here. So this is number one. I'm going to fold the line to number two. And right with my thumb right here, I'm going to press. I think I mixed it. This is so hard. You kind of feel like a, a pressure when you press it. Make sure I'm doing this right. There we go. It takes a little bit of effort. You should kind of feel in here like a squirting sound. I think I got it in there, so I'm just going to massage this a little bit. There we go. So I don't know what the active ingredient in this is. I have to do some research. Um, it looks like it has some witch hazel in there, which is a good astringent agent. Um, got some plants in there. Tea tree. There we go. In the copper. 
The tea tree oil, um, which is also known as molecula, that is used as an ingredient to cleanse the face and get rid of acne. So I wonder if that's what's in the ampule. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shake the mask because I'm worried this is gonna burst when I open this. You open it from the bottom. So give me one second. Okay, I'm back, so let me just tear this open. This actually smells really floral, which is really interesting. I was actually expecting it to smell like tea tree. So this mask is also a nice black sheet. It's a little bit of a different color compared to what I'm used to. This is pretty neat. Okay, this is a little hard to get open. At least the mask looks thick too, which is really good. All right, so I'm gonna go apply this. I like the size of the mask, it's really, really good. So it can fit a lot of different face sizes. I've had a lot of issues with other products that are way too tight. But you definitely pay for what you got with skincare, especially for the sheet masks. And look at that, that spread really evenly and nice. There's like hardly any lumps in here. So this is a really good product. And I like how it fits around the mouth evenly. There's no like tearing it, there's no ripping. It's a pretty good even fit. And it covers and it lasts and it sticks on. And that is the best I can ask for in a face mask. Any of the excess serum you can rub into your neck or your forehead where the mask isn't necessarily covering. But this seems to be a perfect fit. So the cut of it is really good. The material is extremely comfortable. This is a good high quality mask and it is super aromatic. There is no tingling, no burning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go leave this on for 20 minutes. I'm gonna go relax, watch TV show, and I'll be back to show you guys the finished result of what my face looks like. All right, so the 20 minutes have passed. I'm ready to take this off. So what I normally do is I just kind of massage the mask so I can squeeze out any of the serum that's in here. The sheet is definitely a high quality one. I have to research what's in here, so I wonder if there's like a charcoal or some kind of plant-based material that's detoxifying for the skin, because I think how these masks work is it draws out the bad, but it also deposits the serum down, which is really healthy for the skin. So I just pull up like so. Um, really easy to remove. And then what I do is I'm just gonna toss this right over here. Any serum that's left on the skin, which most of this seems to absorb in well, I just use two fingers and I massage it in, in an upward motion. Kind of like you're applying skincare. If you've ever gotten a professional facial, um, pay close attention to how they're massaging your face. You can do the same manipulations at home and get professional-like results. So this seems to absorb in really well. Um, my skin does feel very astringent. It feels very soft. I'm gonna give you guys a close-up look. It looks like up here is a lot more um, shinier. It feels more smoother, more firm. This does not leave any kind of coating on the skin, so I really like that. Under the eye area looks more refreshed, as does the nose. Um, I tend to get some blackheads up here. It doesn't seem like it removed anything, but the skin looks a lot healthier, and the pores that are here don't look as big. I do have a few um, blackheads up here that are healing, so I hope this will speed up their recovery. It was a very relaxing experience, very aromatic. Um, it, the smell calmed down after about 10 minutes, but it was very floral, very nice. It wasn't too strong. There was no irritation whatsoever, no tingling, no burning. So if you do have sensitive skin and you have acne, the pore clearing mask from 
Um, Ozu is perfect for you. So I really think that Ozu is a great company. I love their concept of having a serum that's active that you have to squeeze in there. Um, another way of doing it would maybe to have the serum, but I mean, actually, no, I actually kind of like this version because when you squeeze it in there, you can massage it. There's no having to open it, pour it in, and shake it, and risk having everything explode everywhere. There is some excess serum in the um, sachet, so what you could do with that is add more to your face at a later time and massage it in, or massage your chest area, or anywhere you have skin, you can put the serum on. And so let's say you have chest, uh, chest acne or back acne, you can put it on there and massage it in, and it should help to purge out some of the comedomes. Because I know that tea tree is detoxifying, I think what's gonna happen with this mask is it goes in, your skin absorbs it, and it helps to bring those impurities to the surface quicker, which is really good because you don't want them in your skin. This is also another reason why if you do get regular facials, it's important to use a sheet mask at home or some kind of good skincare products to really keep the facial going well because your facials, um, you can maximize the time between them on how long they last and getting the most out of them. I will say too, if you get a facial and it's your first time ever, it's completely normal to break out. Um, that happens because your body has a lot of stuff built up in the pores and it's pushing all of the impurities out. So I like how this product makes my skin look refreshed and very nice and tight. It feels firm and astringent. If you do have dry skin, this may not be the mask for you, um, but because it was so gentle, I don't think it would hurt it. Usually with dry skin, you want something that's a little bit more nourishing. So I'm gonna give you guys one last look at my skin. Let's see if I can get a close up. But I'm very impressed with the mask and I like how they have it with the technology. So I want to know from my viewers down below, if you've ever tried um, Ozu uh, Pore Clearing Mask, let me know down below. Tomorrow, I'm going to be trying the Ozu Illuminating Mask. This looks really cool. This is to get a nice, um, younger-looking skin, kind of like a brighter glow, and I think it has a different formula in there. So if you guys like this content, I do videos every Saturday and Sunday. Please hit that subscribe button down below, and I'll see you guys soon.